Welcome back. I'm going to talk to you about the MQL system that I'm going to have fitted. Well, I'm going to fit it. Uh, we have the uh, front piece here. I'm going to make a plate um, and you'll see that um, we've got the M8 holes already tapped in here um, from what I did previously. The plate you bolt onto there have uh, countersunk screws um, placed in here um, to hold it on. And then we have the fixing holes here with the, I think it's about five screws will pop through there. So we'll hold that on. Uh, you'll see um, what will be rigged up to the rest of the system. The unit that, this is the unit that I've built. There's, um, if I just flick the uh, light on, let's get it looking good so you can see a bit more. It's more like it. So up above you can see a mount I made. Um, I'll just show you a bit of footage of that. You'll see the inlet pipe coming here. Uh, we have our T which sends the air pressure over to the one that I've already got fitted here. Um, you've got, it's basically a carburetor, you've got a liquid and an air inlet and it adjusts the mixture until you get a certain amount coming out of there. I have my air line coming in. I have my air switch here, my pneumatic switch. That pressurizes it, you can see in the regulator. Turn it back off, it switches off, so that's all good. That goes into the T, and that also pressurizes the vessel, which is just a water filter off eBay. I think it was around like 12 to 15 pounds. All the little fittings and the regulator, the switch and the pipe, adds up. You probably spend about 40 50 pounds, and you've got yourself an MQL system now that's minimal quantity lubricant. Um, and so, what I'm building at the moment, what I'm going to machine is a part that will then obviously as I've just said, fit to here. So bear with me, we'll watch some bits and then uh, we'll see how it gets on. So I'm on Autodesk Fusion 360. It's a simple job today. I'm going to make four small holes, four larger holes, some countersinking and then um, just some peripheral countersinking and obviously the cutting out on the peripheral as well. So the main tool I'm going to use is my two flute uh, four millimeter carbide cutter from uh, Rennie Tool um, and that would do all the work even including some adaptives to create the conical cuts um, to create the countersink and then all I'm going to use is the um, 90 degree CNC spot drill um, to then basically finish off the countersink clean up those 45 degree edges um, and then just run around the outside and clean them up so it's pretty simple um, I'll leave it with you, you can see what it's doing, you've seen it before, I don't need to explain the same thing over and over again. And I'll uh, speak to you in a sec. I'm going to use two tools today. I've got my Rennie four millimeter aluminium cutter. Should be good. It's a two flute. I used it yesterday on a, another job, so we'll see how it does today. But the edges still feel good. I had a good look on the end. Everything looks really good still. So let's keep going with it. The other tool is my faithful 45, well 90 degree cutter. Sorry, it's got two 45s on there. So that will do our chamfer. And um, I've got a new one on the way, which would be a bit sharper, but this one does the job.
doing? What are you doing? 